Okay, resetters, in this video, I am going to clear up the idea around what the heck detoxing is, why should you detox, and how do you know which detox to do? How do you pick one that's right for you? So I'm super excited to bring this information to you because you guys have been asking for it, so here you go. Okay, so I wanted to do a video for you guys on detoxing, because this is showing up a lot in the resetters, it's showing up here on YouTube. How do you choose the best detox for you? And I know it's very overwhelming, and so what I wanted to do on this video is break it down into simple steps so that you can choose the detox that works best for you, okay? So let me start off by just saying that the first thing you want to ask yourself is, are you detoxing for prevention? Like maybe you just overtoxified yourself and you're like, I just need to wipe out the toxins from a vacation or from the holidays. Or are you trying to solve an issue? Like some of you know that you're weight loss resistant. Some of you have a hunch that you might have some neurotoxins. So let me kind of go through what I look at for the different signs that tell me a patient needs to detox. So, and there's a lot of them and everybody presents a little differently. So remember that here on my channel, I'm really trying to educate you guys to be your own doctor and to stay in your own lane and to understand how to do this effectively for you. So some of the top signs that tell me it's time that somebody needs a detox the number one is really lethargy and fatigue. So if you're doing, you've been doing the keto lifestyle for a while, you're fasting, and you're just still totally exhausted, the way I look at that is that your toxic bucket has gotten really full and it's, ta it's time to start to drain your bucket. So fatigue would be a really, really common sign it's time to detox. And I'll go through the different phases of detoxing for you. Second thing would be brain clarity. So you're just got, you got brain fog, you're having trouble focusing, you're losing memory loss. Those of you that are, can't remember your whole stories in your childhood or people, or you end up in a conversation, you're like, what was I saying? That's usually a sign it's time for a detox. Skin rashes, anybody who's got like any kind of rash that won't go away, um, we've even had patients with psoriasis that have an autoimmune reaction, uh, reaction that's going on in the skin, sign for time for a detox. Those of you that are having trouble losing weight, no matter what you do, time for a detox. Hair falling out, and maybe it's falling out because you started keto and fasting and now it's falling out. A lot of times the keto and fasting lifestyle will reveal toxins that have been in there and it's like layers of wallpaper that you start to peel off and all of a sudden a toxic layer appears. So again, we'll talk about that as we go through this. Ringing in the ears, trouble sleeping, constipation, these are all signs a detox is in order for you, okay? The first thing, after you ask yourself, are you trying to solve a problem or are you trying to prevent? The second thing I would look at is that I want you to realize there are two different types of detoxing. So there is self-detoxing, which we've talked a lot about on here. This is autophagy, this is ketosis, and, and I'll explain a little bit of where the detox piece comes in with that. And then you've got assisted detoxing. And in the world that I live in, what I create for myself, what I create for my patients, is we do a little bit of both. So if you're wanting a light detox, like you wanna stimulate autophagy, or you wanna secrete some stem cells, like, like a 24-hour fast goes in and repairs intestinal some stem cells. These are part of what I consider a self-detox protocol, and you should be splashing in autophagy days and 24-hour fasts just all the time into your lifestyle. You should be at least once or twice a week trying to hit 17 hours of fasting so you can get into that state of autophagy. That's just general good living. But then we've got those moments where you need to dive into an assisted detox. And with assisted detox, you can use supplements. I'll talk a little bit about some foods that you can use. So there are some other things that you can dive into that will help the detox process along that's deeper than fasting. So 
Once you know what you're trying to, why you're detoxing, then ask yourself, do I want to do assisted detoxing or do I want, want to do self-detoxing? If you're going to do assi uh, assisted detoxing, there's a lot of different levels here. So a lot of you can lean into foods like Corella and cilantro. Um, and you, a lot of you know that the cruciferous foods like uh, Brussels sprouts and broccoli, all of those are really good if you want a very light detox. So these are not like neurotoxins like heavy metals and fluorides and plastics and endocrine disruptors. You're not gonna be pulling that stuff out with cilantro and chlorella. But if you wanna throw it into your weekly routine, beautiful. Throw that in with some autophagy fasting, some one meal a day fasting, awesome. Like these are just smart things that we should be doing because we do live in the most toxic time in human history. So feel free to jump in and do those. those. You're, they're not gonna hurt you, but they're not gonna get to the deeper stuff. If you wanna go to the deeper stuff, that's where you're gonna need supplementation. And the basis of supplementation that we recommend to people is you're gonna to wanna to in, increase glutathione and you're gonna to wanna to lean into some binders that like activated charcoal to grab on to the toxins you're releasing with the glutathione. So a lot of good brands out there. Personally for us, we use G-Cell is the glutathione that we use. Put, it's got some vitamin C in there. So it really, this product has worked really well for releasing toxins out of the cells. And then you always, if you guys are doing, a lot of you are into the, um, you know, all different types of glutathione, just make sure whatever you're using to push toxins out, maybe you do chelation and you're pushing toxins out of the cell, you always want to follow it with bind. So you want to have something binding to it so it gets out of your body. It doesn't get reabsorbed back into your body. So if you're doing a detox lifestyle, if you're adding in some of these amazing detox foods, your next level would be to go to G-Cell and Bind. This is like a 30-day protocol that you would do. It would be like the next level. Now, what do those of you that are losing hair, those of you that have ringing in the ears, those of you that are chronically fatigued, those of you that you know you have co-infections like Lyme and Epstein-Barr and you're just not m moving your health forward, then we have to look at neurotoxins. So neurotoxins are everywhere in our environment right now. Um, we've got them in our water, in our soils. Uh, we've got them in all our beauty products, in our, our cleaning products, our hair products. They're in our clothes. Um, neurotoxins are fluoride. They're in our toothpaste. Um, they are heavy metals like lead, mercury, uh, thallium. Those of you that are losing hair, thallium, that's, that is a, a, a thallium issue. So you're going to want to test that. Cigarette smoke, if you grew up in a house where you had uh, a lot of cigarette, we're seeing cesium and thallium mixed together. Aluminum, those of you that are cooking with aluminum or maybe you're using a deodorant with aluminum, these are all neurotoxins and they do not exit the body easily on their own. So you need to dive into a deeper detox. In our world, the, my clinic, we call this our heavy metal detox, our ultimate reset. It is the most rewarding detox. Once we get through the other end of it that we do with patients, it is a deep detox. It takes about 90 days to start that detox process and we teach you how to do it because we don't want you doing this wrong. In our ultimate reset, we use on-off cycles and we use different binders and we walk you through how you can customize your own personal detox experience. So I can't tell you enough about the world we're living in right now is so toxic. And if you're ignoring the detox uh, lifestyle, if you're not going into these heavier detoxes, then at some point your health is gonna get stuck. I'll use myself as an example. I was using diet and some light detoxing techniques and a little bit of fasting in my early 40s. And when I started to go through perimenopause, 
things like lead came out of stored tissue and they started to throw off sleep. They started to change my mood. I started to get hot flashes. And I could not solve that problem with cilantro. I could not solve that problem with fasting. I had to dive into a deeper detox. So if that's you, just put ultimate reset in the notes and we'll get you, send you some information on that. But that's, that's the progression, okay? So identify prevention. If you're just preventing, then yeah, a lot of the self detoxes are gonna work great. The autophagies and the foods, those are all gonna work great. A light detox using bind and G-cell, it'll work awesome. If you're really trying to get to the root cause of a problem, then you're going to want to dive into a deeper detox. And it, it's, I think it's so important to go into the detox, knowing what you're, where you're at, what you're trying to accomplish and having a plan. So uh, if you wanna dive more into this topic of detoxing on January 11th, the Reset Experience, it's live event, all day event. I'm bringing in the fasting and detox experts um, from all over our country here in America um, that are gonna come in, mindset coaches, and really teach you how to detox properly, how to fast properly, uh, how to repair your microbiome, and how to really truly jump into your best version of health in 2020. So if you want more information, just put the reset experience in your comments and we'll make sure you get information. But detoxing, yep, we all need to be doing it. And again, I hope this, this clears up any confusion and it gives you something to focus on. So give me feedback. Let me know if that was helpful. Um, and as always, I'm here to serve you and to help you, you move your, your life forward and your health forward. So hope that helps.